Good afternoon guys. Uh, just started the Cumbria Way in Olverston. A uh, slight little uh, diversion as the footpath was closed to do some bridge works. Uh, the time is now just gone 20 to 3. Um, the train was a little bit late and I had to stop and get uh, some provisions. So we are now running about half an hour behind schedule departing Olverston. Should make it up, no problems at all. So uh, we'll just get out of Olverston and I'll uh, give you an update. Okay, so just left Olverston and off we go. Right guys, we're literally just 10 minutes outside of Olverston and this is already the view of how the scenery has changed. So, through a couple of fields of cows, uh, that over there is uh, something to do a monument to uh, Eddystone Lighthouse or something. Um, I will look it up in the guidebook later and uh, hopefully we'll be able to tell you what a bit more. So, uh, right, I'm gonna press on. Hey, okay, afternoon guys. Literally 25 minutes into the walk from Overston. Hopefully you can see in the background Wolverston and Morecambe Bay and this is the scenery that we have got already and we're only half an hour in and behind me here uh, is the path where we're going. Right guys, look at this for a view. There's the tower above Olverston there, looking out across Morecambe Bay. That's obviously where we started. And this is the onward and the upward bit. Okay people, done a bit of climbing, I'm now on the way downhill. And uh, this is the view behind me. And that's the direction that we're actually heading. Looking forward to it. Right out guys, just passed through Stony Crag Farm uh, like 20 minutes um, behind the planned schedule so we've made up 10 minutes so we're not doing too bad hopefully we'll make uh, all the time up before we get to the campsite so it's, uh, just keep plodding on and I'll give you another update in a little while Right guys, just come through Hollenmeyer Farm that's our next checkpoint, St. David or St. John's Church, wherever it is. And there's the banking range ahead. Um, I think you'll find that that is tomorrow. That's Coniston. That's the Coniston, um, old man of Coniston and stuff. So I think you'll find that we'll be going up that way tomorrow. But next checkpoint is the church. So head off towards the church now. Okay guys, uh, just stop for a little rest at a place called Bruton or Broughton Beck I'm not sure how you want to pronounce it done about three and a half miles so far from Olverston and um, about three and a half, four miles and it's about another three and a half, four miles to go so I'm about halfway to the campsite for tonight um, it's actually, as you can probably see gorgeous blue sky and it's really hot the forecast is for cloud and to be a lot cooler than it is actually today so um just hope it's a bit cloudier tomorrow right catch up with you a bit uh, again later on right well a rather interesting scenario here uh footpaths on one side of the river and it continues on the other side of the river and no bridge it is actually marked on the old and survey map there's a footbridge oh hang on a second there's one just back there let's try the bridge then shall we much much easier hope we use the bridge to be honest there's a it's a bit marshy here there's quite a clear um, sort of path right across this field of where people have walked 
and uh, I was just following the path and didn't see this little stone bridge look so here we go let's try using the bridge that's better right we'll continue on then okay guys uh pass through uh where are we Naprathal, uh 15 minutes late so we've made up a good 15 minutes of the half an hour late which has come from that direction uh, if i swing you around the other way here's the mountains behind it's the coniston ridge it's the direction we are heading uh, in and this is the path behind me or the track going up to the farm which we're going to now start to follow the only problem with today is it's all fields fields and more fields and it's a very hot day um, and there's just no shelter there's no getting out of the sun and the heat although there's now a little bit of a breeze blowing um, it is really hot as you can see I'm probably sweating it's quite a bit of sort of up and down there's a lot of um, walls with kind of stone styles built over the top um, they are quite annoying with a heavy pack uh, there was one little incident which I you won't see this until I get back um, got on top of a wall and very big drop about eight foot drop the other side and I lost my balance um, luckily I fell backwards but it was only a two foot drop rather than forwards with this heavy pack where it's an, about, like I said an eight to ten foot drop so uh, almost had a little instant but we didn't recovered from it and uh, we are plodding along quite happily enjoying the scenery um, so I'll catch up with you a bit, a bit later on, hopefully. Okay guys, just want to sh share the view with you. That is, uh, hopefully you can see the lake there, just in the distance. That is Coniston Water. So, that's what we're following tomorrow. Or what I'm following tomorrow. Um, not quite sure where we go. I mean, we go over these fells in the foreground here down to the lake and then we climb up sort of towards Tarn House and then drop down and in behind there somewhere is the Langdale Valley um, we go up across on our th on the third day we go up across the top of that somewhere um, from here with the map folded it's quite difficult to try and figure out where to but I mean that for a view guys and then back, right back in the distance you can just make out on the hill the uh, lighthouse of Olverston that's where I started uh, about half past two whatever time it was we started <clears throat> so now about 20 past five uh, we're now to the other side of Gorthwaite and uh, still about quarter of an hour behind the planned schedule but that's not bad I mean considering the fact that I stopped went in Tesco Express to buy some uh, provisions when I got to Olverston and also the fact that the train was also 10 minutes late arriving um, gave me a late start but I'm only still a quarter of an hour behind the actual planned schedule for the day so I'm quite happy just pottering along and uh, got some new friends <coughs> and I'll catch up with you again in a little bit guys okay people we're through Kiln Bank behind me is the track of the Cumbria Way we're gonna go off that way to the campsite it's about slightly off the route it's about three quarters of a mile not too much so uh, this is hopefully where I plan to rejoin the route in the morning so uh, off we go, three quarters of a mile to go and we'll be at the campsite. <laughs> 